motherfucker be like, is you good or is you okay? Like, what the fuck is you going to do if I'm not? Like, most of the shit I go through, I go through that shit alone. Like, I'm always there for people, but when I be needing somebody to be there for me, it don't be nobody there. And I hate telling people my business, because as soon as we disagree on something, they going to tell everybody what I told them. I'd rather have somebody who is always going to have my best interests at heart. It's never going to do nothing to betray me versus just have somebody who just love me. Because you could kill me out of love. You could love me so much to the point that it drive you crazy and you kill me. Mm. But if you loyal, loyal to me, you ain't going to never do nothing to harm me because your loyalty is like, you have loyalty with me. You don't want to cross me. You know what I'm saying? Me and you could be best friends for 20 years. Right. You do something and I see that it ain't no coming back from that, what you did, mm. that infraction. I'm going to fall back. I love you, but I love you enough to walk away from you. Loyalty will get you killed. Love will get you hated. You feel me? And trust will get you hurt. Even if I call a nigga fucking my hoe, I ain't my problem man, with you. Because I know how these females be. You feel me? So, I don't even know how I take a nigga coming at me by the girl, cuz so if your girl got damn fuck with me, you need to take that up with her. Yeah. Not me. You feel me? Even me, if I felt like you and my girl was fucking around, and what I got you felt like whatever problem, you? my problem with the girl, cuz that's where my loyalty's supposed to be at. Alright, so first night you get to jail, what'd that feel like? When you're like, yo shit, I'ma be here, I'ma be well, locked up. First night, I got locked up, I watched Lone Survivor. And I was like, definitely, I'm definitely snitching, right? <laughs> and then, and then, no, seriously. I'm so from even... the jump, no, from, yeah, the jump, from the jump, I'm you like, laid down and you were stuffing your pillow. You're like, nah, it ain't gonna be long. <laughs> <laughs> it's no reason my phone should be this dry, bro. Like this shit is really, this shit is really crazy, bro. I just be on this motherfucker scrolling through apps, cause I ain't got nobody to text. I just be scrolling through shit. Then I be checking my phone every five minutes, knowing damn well ain't nobody text me. It just be the time and the date. If you want me to be the bad guy, I'll be the bad guy. If you want me to be the good guy, I'll be the good guy. But I have no problem being both. Sometimes it's better to be the bad guy. Because then you know really what the person think about you. Because when they say they like you, you don't know if they like you. But when they say they hate you, then you know they really hate you. But I make haters become my fan. That's my problem. So I need more haters. Fuck what happened in August. I'm tripping by my sister was there. Right, you, you, you're, uh, <clears throat> your little sister is in the house. How old is she at the time? She's 21, bro. Mm -hmm. Cause if something happened to me, something happened to my sister, you upset? Like, blood, like. So-called is loyalty and everything and no snitching and all of that. I get it, right? But where was the loyalty when you was sleeping with my baby mother? Where was the loyalty when you was caught on the wiretap trying to kill me? Where was the loyalty when you tried to kidnap my mother? Where was the loyalty when you were stealing millions of dollars from me? Where was that? So who broke it first? All right, I get it. Don't fight fire or fire. I'm sorry. But what did I do wrong? If I like you, I like you. If I don't like you, I don't mind you knowing that I don't like you, because I don't have to like you, mm -hmm. whoever you are. Your, your life is a book. You got a bunch of chapters in your book, but when they close that book, how good was the book? How good was your book? What was the ending to your book? If the ending to my book can be so amazing because of all that was done, not the money, all that was accomplished. Last time I really done had a real emotional problem was, it was this girl that I used to like, be like damn near obsessed with in middle school. And she was like my little girlfriend. But we used to just like flirt and just like each other a lot. And then when I went to jail, when I came home, she had herself a little boyfriend. She used to mail me and shit and cat for me. And that was like the last time I really had some like real feelings. Regardless of who you end up with, like if you do me wrong, you're going to remember that. Like I'm going to be that bitch that you always remember, that female that you always want to care about because I had a genuine heart. So you're going to sleep around a lot trying to match the love and loyalty I gave you. Niggas don't know what they have until they lose it. And then that's when they want to come crawling back and I'm sorry, baby, and flowers and all that. Like, I don't give a fuck no more. You should have caught me when I did. Like I said, losing me is going to be the best karma there is. TJ Monk, thank you.
Oh, yeah? I don't fuck with niggas. If you notice why I don't do songs with niggas, my tape ain't have nobody on it, because I don't fuck with niggas. I don't like niggas. I don't want to like niggas. I'm not into them. You know what I'm saying? You know, what I'm saying? You know cause these niggas be envious. Sit there and not text you, you don't have my heart. But if I sit there and waiting for you to text me back, then you got my heart. When I'm like addicted to her, kind of sort of, for me. You not about to disrespect nothing. And hey, hey man, why you whooping you? I'ma beat my son ass. You damn right. You know why? Cause if I don't whoop his ass in the house, when he get out there, the police gonna blow his little brains out and they gonna be picking him up off the ground. So I'ma whoop his ass. He one and a half, he about to be two. So I discipline my children. If you don't like it, take me to jail. I think people don't understand what that actually takes when you're in a relationship to say I love you to someone. That means you have to respect them, you have to be loyal to them, you have to cherish them, and you have to give them your attention. And if not all those things are there, then you don't actually love them. Yeah, I don't put my chest in nobody. Cause they all temporary, you, you know how it is, man. One day they're here, the next day they're gone. But I stand on loyalty, man. My loyalty stand with, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with you, it is what Don't beat yourself up behind mistakes. You take responsibility for all actions. We move forward. Don't let the past dictate your present. And also, don't allow the things that happen in your past to affect your future. It take a lot to make me show emotion. It take a lot to get a tear out of me. And I'm the type of person, like, a lot of stuff don't move me. How you deal with all this, this, this trauma, this trauma 21? Like, I'm talking about, like, seeing all your friends get killed, issues with your father, like, how do you deal with it? I ain't gonna lie, bro, sometimes, like, late nights, I just cry like a motherfucker. Oh, like, that's the honest to God. I be crying sometimes. Sometimes I get mad. Sometimes I cry. Sometimes I get mad. I don't care what no one else thinks. You feel me? Like, I don't care what no one thinks anymore. I'm just gonna do me now. You feel me? If people like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. This is the main reason why I don't like the internet. The main reason why I don't like the internet is because a nigga can hide behind the phone all day. He can be the most lamest nigga alive, hide behind the phone all day and talk crazy to you. I'm not used to that. And when I get locked up, ain't nobody sending no money. Ain't nobody putting money on the phones. Ain't nobody taking care of my shorties. I got two sons. Ain't nobody going to spend bread on them or nothing like that. Taking care of my mama, drop off money to her, whatever, whatever. So it's like I get out, I'm like, what the fuck is I'm still here for these niggas for and they ain't here for me. Fuck them. I'm on a whole different level. I'm, I'm focused now. Ain't no going back. If you hang around bums, bro, all you see is bum type of things, bro. If you hang around billionaires, all you see is money all day. This is why they say you are who you hang around, bro. If you hang around billionaires, you a billionaire yourself because that's all you see. You feel me? Whatever your brain sees on a daily, that's what it's finna manifest. If you don't want me to be the best that I could be, then you're not my friend. And if I'm only your friend when I'm doing what you want me to do, then you're not my friend. Peer pressure is the most dangerous thing on earth. Next to complacency. If you associate yourself with peer pressure or complacency, you destined for failure. I I really had any friends in school. Like that. People are I'm not good at becoming friends with people. Mm. You feel me? Because over the years I realized people change. You feel me? They start fucking with you for different reasons. Mm -hmm. So I choose who I fuck with. I got this thing with my granddad. I, I promised my granddad three things, you know. When he passed away, I promised him I'd never drink, I'd never smoke, and I promised him that I'd take care of the girl that I'm with and my mom. All the females in my family, I promise I'd always take care of them. You dig so big, bro? I don't believe in cheating. I don't believe in, like, no, none of that, you dig? Like, I'll break up with you before I cheat on you, you feel what I'm saying? Because I promised somebody dear to me that I'd never do nothing like that. So with that being said, if I say I swing the block, I let off shots, like, you know, that go for anybody that I love, you know? So that's just what it is. Well, I'm afraid Stefan isn't putting in the effort. How come? Because all the other teachers giving him high marks. What that says to me is you're the odd one out. Do you get it? Which means it ain't about him, it's about you. Stefan also says you're very sarcastic. Nobody likes sarcasm. Do you understand? Maybe we could look at some of Stefan's marks again. A lot of people fail, bro, because they be so worried about girls. I, I said this in a YouTube video. Girls is some of these guys' biggest downfalls because they try to impress girls. They they will put their life on hold to make sure a woman's happy over his own self. 
Like seriously, that's why a lot of guys fail. They, okay, it's 24 hours in a day, you'll see a guy give a girl eight hours of text messages and phone calls. Her, his whole mind. When you can take that same eight hours and put it into income, money, learning how to invest. Like goals, writing your goals down, praying, something. But you're giving it all to this female. Nigga, get up. Stop thinking that something's gonna come out the sky and it's gonna make your day better. Stop complaining and stop bitching about how the world is just bad. Oh, all these bad things happen in my life. Nigga, bad things happen to every motherfucking body. The fact that you even have a phone, you should be grateful for that. There are many distractions in life, but the biggest distraction are people. People who wanna see you fail and join them. I'm talking about people who distract you from your vision. People who encourage you to give up and quit. I want to be the greatest in the world, not for the money and the fame and the girls, not for the car keys or the jet skis, but the vacation to the West Indies.